There's another look inside the vendor's display. This is a part of the vendors and sort of second hand kits. You, need, you do need to pay 500 yen to enter this part. Well, let's go and have a look and see what's inside. Let's go rare kit hunting. Let's just have a look around and have a look at the vendors on display. I think you're going to find quite a lot of interesting JDM type cars and stuff. Let's just have a look. See what's on display. A lot of collectibles. This is die cast off. This is jam, okay. <laughs> CDs. Okay, it's a bit of a mixture of everything. These look like, yeah, some of the older kits. I can see straight away a monogram, 148 Kingfisher. Got some of the older boxings from Hasegawa. I think this would be the place to come if you're looking for something really rare and unusual. Well, look at this here. Airfix. Check this out. Original boxing, IL-2 M3 Stormvik Airfix kit. Look at that. If you collect the rare ones, I think this is the place to come. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. This is the Gundam and the Mecha. There is a little bit of military at the back, I can see it. There's an old boxing um, M42 from Tamaya, which I haven't seen for a long time. Well, my models are favorite Japanese modeling magazine. There's obviously some of the old copies here. Bargain set. <laughs> bargain set, bargain set. Super, so you can get lots of deals. Here, here's some more kits. Oh, there's a masterwork collection. Uh, Tamaya did release uh, models that were already completed. They were, you know, ready display models, and there's one of them. They are actually that's a really incredible price. That's only two thousand yen, so it's very cheap to buy them. They were very expensive, at over a hundred dollars each for uh, even a small example. So there you go. That's a new kit. There's our King Tiger. I need to get on with my build when I see that one. Some of the Dragon, uh, Dragon Zimmerated uh, King Ti uh, Tiger one. And there's a Cyber Hobby Panther F. Some interesting stuff on display, let's continue. Arigato, thank you. Wow, look at these guys here. These are original box Tamaya. The prices on these are very expensive. They are like uh, 80,000 yen. Yeah, you're looking at like, you're gonna be absolutely staggered. It's over $800 for one of these boxes, but these are as rare as you're gonna get. This is the cheapest one at 20,000 yen. So still like that's, you're looking at $200 for that kit. Obviously these are very collectible. They will have a lot of um, sentimental value to kit collectors. First time I've ever seen them, and they're sort of, uh, well, obviously they're not going to be made again. What is the distinguishing feature is the box art by the artist from Tamaya. So, very interesting to see that here. And wow, look at this one. A world, this looks like a, I've never seen this kit ever before. It's a World War II German medium camp, Panzerkampfwagen 3 with a it's 120 121 scale so that's a very unusual scale i have a feeling it may have been one of the original remote control or motorized models that they did and yes it is it's a motorized kit one of their very first releases and here's some more rare beauties again from tamaya and some of these less rare, but that was uh, very interesting seeing these. Arigato, thank you. 
And oh, Monogram and Hasegawa. I didn't know that they ever worked together, but they did on a DC3. It will be a Monogram kit that that DC3, the original Monogram kit under Hasegawa Boxing. Again, a premium price tag on that kit there. These are more modestly priced, and if you're really looking for an old Tamiya uh, T34 or M3, well, you can find them here. There's plenty. There's plenty of them. Again, more original sort of box kits. Again, not really too rare as some of these you could probably come across, but they certainly do have a very cherished second hand market here in Japan with their kits. Obviously a lot of kit collectors. Reminds me a little bit of Telford, but maybe on a different scale because of the value that's attached to some of these, as we saw from the Tigers and Panthers, priced at $800. And here's um, AC Models, Andy Cairns. We'll see if we can have a word with him a little bit later on when he's not too busy. Yeah, kind of fun to look around at this this part of the show. Um, glad I came inside here to have a look at this collection side. <laughs> What I was hoping to find was some contemporary vendors or model shops, but we'll see if we can find them a bit later on. Let's see if we can find it. I, is that an air tool kit? No, it isn't. <coughs> Okay, they've got some hobby supplies here, so we might have a look at that a bit later on as well. It's new to my lacquer paint range. <laughs> some really nice brushes, they're very fine detail brushes. Okay, so this is AC Models and here is Andy Cairns. Come all the way from New Zealand, of course, with his selection of resin figures. A lot of detailed sets. Um, Andy, can you just show us some of your new releases and some of your most yeah, recent okay, castings? The, re yeah, the, the recent releases I've got is the B-17 Waste Gunner in 116. That looks really nice. I see he's got the flak armor jacket on <coughs> and yeah. he's, got, he's the got a little detail down at the bottom. Is that his yeah. flying helmet? With uh, the, yeah, the yeah, armored helmet. helmet with he's the got his gloves inside there yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah, and then there's the, um, this is my turntable. That is wonderful. And that's this the, the the body armor. Pretty much, he's got over his yeah. shoulder. I like this detail here. You've got all the fine parts of the webbing straps and everything. Yeah. Look at the detail on the collar as well. That's really. Yeah, the sheep, the sheepskin collar was quite fun to do. Yeah. 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 So, um, and this is uh, Salu Scout. Um, from, oh, this is from Rhodesia, yeah? Yeah, Rhodesia. Yeah, the Rhodesian, yeah, the Rhodesian yeah, like Special Forces. Yeah, basically. yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. He's carrying an RPD. Yeah, a cut down modified one. Wow. I like that figure. I like it. He's also he's got the facial hair. He's been out in the bush. He's, he's been, been here for a while. Like yeah. a long range recce sort of thing. Pretty, pretty much. That yes. looks like a really great casting as well. Got, uh, of course, need some German paras with the MG42 Eastern Front, and this. Um, oh, this I really is like this 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 one here. This is a limited edition of a hundred kits. Oh, uh, wow. of, um, it's it's the SAS Land Rover. Yep. But what you'll need is the Italiari base kit. That's the base kit. Yeah, that you would need. Yep. And then the rest is resin and photo etch. That looks and some really good. And some some wire supply. I'm just sort of seeing here. There's all the storage. You're getting one, two, is it two figures or three? three? three you have a driver. Three figures, a driver, you've a got the gunner, and then also another figure in the back. Correct. You've got the GPMGs mountings, you've got the all the fitment that you would get on a, you know, the, the SAS long range 
That's right. All Land the, Rovers. So everything they really need. They, they, and I guess the desert tyres as well. That's yeah? right. Yes. Wow, that looks really impressive. Let's have a look at these. These are 135 scale, so a diorama scale as yes, well. So yes. these look really good. This is a set of. Uh, Saint that's a Saint Sherman crew, yeah. Saint Louis, uh, Lake Sherman with a St. Louis Blues crew. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a really nice. Um, that's based on the photograph. So. so, how many figures are you getting inside that set there, Andy? You will get uh, six figures. Six figures. Two standing and four seated. So, there you go, guys. That's basically ready made diorama there because of the. There's a continuity between all the figures, they work in correlation, so that makes things a lot easier for guys who don't like doing figure conversions, <laughs> yeah. myself included. And here's another really great set. Wow. Oh, mercenaries in Africa. No, I do like that. That's uh, a jumbo uh, combo kit uh, for two crews, for an M38 uh, Jeep and a Willys Jeep. So yep. there's two different crews. Now, I don't know if you guys can remember, these. there was a film called The Wild Geese, and it sort of featured the mercenaries in, in Africa. You know, this is like, you know, the bad times when guns were for hire. And uh, first time I've seen this genre in this resin kit, I really like that. I noticed that you got uh, Chris Morosco, he was a research yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, Wow, let's have a look at some others here. There's another one that, I'm just going from what grabs my eye, another one that's grabbed my attention, Middle East technical crew. So we've got something current you could use in Syria, Iraq, Libya, Libya this sort of thing. So you've got the well, let's call them freedom fighters. Depends which your your standpoint is, of course. But they're they're waving the flag. They're giving the victory sign, and it looks as very much as if they would fit inside the main um, Hilux type. Uh, yeah, yeah, that looks amazing. Okay, so remember, have a look at AC Models. That's Andy Cairns. His website, AC Models, and it's come all the way from New Zealand. Thank you so much, uh, Andy. Pleasure. Okay, cool. Okay, so in the other part of the sort of vendor section, Alpine Miniatures are here, and here we are. This is one of their new figures. So, 135th scale Imperial Japanese Army Tanker, and there is the actual figure there. If we can focus in on him, let's try and get him in focus and get close to him. And that's painted by. Taesung Harms and Taesung is here at the show, the actual figure painter. Really nice work on the IGN uh, tanker. Looks really fantastic. Well done. <laughs> これ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>